join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. We're walking down High Street in Belfast and that's the Albert Clock directly in front of us. Believe it or not, this all used to be water running into the lagging beyond the clock up ahead before it was covered over to form the street we see today. As we cross the road here, you can see the very posh Merchant Hotel on the corner of Skipper Street. That's the beige building in front of us, which also houses a jazz bar. We get a look at its more historic back facade in a minute. And so with our turn into Skipper Street, we're entering the area known as the Cathedral Quarter, named after St. Dan's Cathedral, which sits at the bottom of this road. It's relatively quiet at the moment, as it's still early, but these streets will fill up fast from this point in the evening on. On our immediate left, we have the side of the National Bar, typical of some of the newer businesses that have sprung up here in recent years. And this is the plush side entrance to the Merchant Hotel, although the back on Waring Street is the most impressive of all. This part of the city has some of Belfast's oldest buildings in fact. Just on the left now we have a great pub called The Spaniard. It's a small, intimate and traditional little pub, but it now has a large upstairs too. It's worth taking a look at that pub in a later video. Directly in front of us, on the right hand side of this crossroads, we see the Pot House, a larger establishment with a younger crowd. We are now at the crossroads with Waring Street, and if we look around we can see the beautiful facades of these old Belfast buildings. These are both owned by the Merchant Hotel, the building on the right being the hotel's bar, the Cloth Cap. As we continue along the cobbled streets of what is now Hill Street, we head past the Thirsty Goat and the Dirty Onion bars on the right hand side. Whatever happened to proper bar names? And this white building on the left here is the Black Box, a bar and music venue that was established before the MAC, a Metropolitan Arts Centre that we'll see in a minute, existed. I think it was designated an arts centre in the run up to the development of the MAC, but now that the MAC is open, and it has been for a long time, this place appears to be still going strong. On the right now we have the Harp Bar, but don't be fooled, this has nothing to do with the infamous Harp Bar of the 1970s that was a mecca for punks in Belfast. It was in this area, but not on this location. And now if we peek down this street, we'd see the popular Duke of York pub, which we visited in an earlier film. Many of Belfast's cultural organisations have moved into this area, which has, like with Temple Bar in Dublin, helped transform the place into a vibrant cultural area. We're now heading down into St Anne's Square, where the Mac is situated. And there it is in front of us now. And it's set in this kind of Italian piazza, with restaurants all around. Still too early for them to be busy. This is also a residential area with apartments on the upper floors of these buildings. And the building directly in front of us now is St Anne's Cathedral, the place responsible now for this part of the city being known as the Cathedral Quarter. Don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you can see what we're doing in the future. And I'll see you in the next very special video.